Hello, and welcome back. My name is Sandcrawler, or Yithmavig, and today we're over here at the Sandcrawler area, and we're going to be cleaning up that. That's supposed to be Sandcrawler. It's been up long enough now, so I thought it was time to clean it up. It's a, It was, or it is, a prank by uh, the Germans, YPZ, and, uh, and Lewis. They uh, put a wool coating around the sand crawler, so it won't be too hard to clean up. Just a little bit of time. So, uh, 1.8 came out this week. Yeah, it, it technically came out today, and I'm recording on Tuesday. Um, Bucket doesn't have a build out yet, of course. Of course, if you didn't keep up with the news, Bucket kind of went through a little bit of a hardship. Um, the guy who was maintaining it decided he was wanted to close it, but he doesn't have the rights to close it because Mo Yang technically owns it. So now I believe that Mo Yang, who are the creators of Minecraft, if you didn't know, they are going to be updating Bucket themselves to some degree. So I thought maybe since they were going to be the maintainers of it now that uh, they'd get a build out a little bit faster maybe have one ready on the day that the update goes up really I feel like the whole thing was kind of done wrongly because when Mo Yang bought the purchase bucket which was when they hired Dinnerbone and a couple other people the hope in the community was that uh, Bucket would update faster then because they would have access to the files before they were released to the public. But that never came to pass. Which is too bad because I think it would have helped Bucket a lot to have their updates out a lot faster. take down the German flag here I've been wanting to play with 1.8 for a while um, it's kind of what I was waiting for to come out before I s ended this series and started my new one um, I wanted to be able to play with the new stuff when we started a new base rather than start in 1.7 and then at some point 1.8 is gonna come out or was going to come out so uh, then we'd have this new base but it'd be made with the 1.7 stuff and so now when we start my single player let's play it'll be on 1.8 which you know adds slime blocks and changes the village of trading so that you can use them to farm weed and bread and um, your good old iron farms still work like the one that's over at the needle because that's what they tr the ones that they were trying to break which I don't think they really have um, was the iron farms like the iron trench and whatnot that were just shoot out gobs of iron every minute or something I never even I never built one of them because they just looked like a big pain to build when I can just build something super simple like what I have over at the needle 
and uh, you know those as long as I'm online those are making iron and I have more iron than I know what to do with because they don't think it's a very nice looking block in fact I think it's one of the ugliest blocks it looks more I don't know it just looks less like a block of iron and more like a block of I don't know I don't even know it has those weird bars on the side I'm thinking a treehouse would be cool when we start the new single player. Some of this might be a pain to get to, like I'm seeing that and that's looking like it'll be a pain. I might have to come up from the bottom on that side to get the stuff in the front. I forgot that the shears don't take durability when you just for breaking wool. It seems like that changes every couple updates. It goes from not taking durability to taking durability. A lot of things change like that. Like now they took out the void fog, which I actually like the void fog. Especially like over there at the needle. I thought it added to the feeling of depth over there. That without void fog you're not going to have that. Okay, we got some windows again. I think I'm just going to take down the side first and then we'll go around to the other sides and whatnot. It's been a long time since I've done anything over here. I just wanted to have the place a little bit cleaned up for the map download. Cause there's some, I think there's some cool builds over here. This was more of my, my good like phase where I was telling more stories and talking a lot more over here. Although sometimes quite uncomfortably. It's weird to talk to, into a microphone and record yourself, but you're talking to other people. You're talking to an infinite number of people, actually. So it's a weird concept to get used to. So over here we built this Ace of Spades, which is what you can see there, and the Star Wars Galaxies Monument, which is the stone guy there. Those were two big projects over here. And then there's a whole bunch of things underground, and there's a few things on the other side of this which I will point out at some point when we get over there. I think that uh, in the future, right now Minecraft is bi-weekly and it's gonna stay that way but it's going to be bi-weekly with another Minecraft series. Right now I have Agrarian Skies and I've recorded 
Um, I'm up to episode 18 of it right now. And uh, so that sort of pre-recorded series is nice because I can put them up and not have to spend a whole lot of effort on them. Which was why I did uh, Age of Empires. Is because that's one that I can go in, I play a level, and then I render the video. There's not a lot of editing or cutting. Not that this one is going to have much for editing or cutting. Although I'm thinking I'm going to cut here in a minute because... I want to clean this whole sand crawler off and it's going to take a little bit of time. And I don't... I'm running out of things to say. So we'll finish this side and then I think that we will cut. Or I will cut it. All this wool. Okay, so I'm going to cut, like I just said, and then when I have it all cleaned off, I will bring you guys back in. Hello and welcome back. This is much more like what I remember. We have a sand crawler again instead of a um, flying hamster, flying walrus hamster thing. Yeah, that's what I was calling it. Something like that. You can find that prank in one of the videos. Uh, I'll try and link it in the description if I remember. So let's just do a quick tour over here because this is probably the last time we'll be over here. So here we have the sand crawler. That's the Star Wars Galaxies monument. It's based off of a starport in Star Wars Galaxies. These are skeletons. We have this little holy land right here. There is this cross shape in it. It's really stupid. 
Um, this here, all this wool that you see going out to there, it goes out to the water. This is the Ace of Spades monument, which it's based on the actual Minecraft terrain that was here. I just replaced all of the terrain with wool, mostly green, obviously. I'd probably do it with uh, stained clay now because it's closer to what Ace of Spades looked like. And if you don't know what Ace of Spades was, real quick, it was a voxel based first person shooter um, with solid colored, you know, a voxel is a, is a volumetric pixel. And so it can only have one color. So that's why the wool. And then that's a little incomplete project. It was, it's based on a bridge that's local to me um, called the Sundial Bridge. The main thing that's never been completed is the Sundial Bridge has a uh, pylon type thing that comes up and where it functions as a sundial. Like I said, this is the Star Wars Galaxies Monument. There's really nothing in here. It's empty. Um, leftover chunks that should have been cleaned up. Chicken Farm. This is back before they had the smaller hip boxes or something like that. Anyways, they get the eggs get thrown up there and the chickens drop down and they go through that tripwire which dispenses lava, lights them on fire and then they end up in here. And it has some problems. This is a really simple chicken and potato farm with water to wash it down in the back not going to go over that because it's a design that I'm sure you all have seen. And that is a leak caused by an Enderman. This is a pumpkin and melon farm. An automatic one when it works. But you can tell it has been because there's melons there. And so when it activates, it pushes all, or when, when that down there activates which is when that melon grows and sends the bedstone signal through. It activates all of these up here and they all break their pumpkins and then they get washed down. And they all get collected up here. And I never did anything better with this so you know you can see them in there. Oh my silk touch. This is a really ugly barn, which has mostly mules or something in it right now. I think there's some cows and pigs in there still. Um, wheat farm works exactly the same as that one. It's just dedicated to wheat. This is a uh, cocoa bean farm, and I will activate this one. So you can see it pushes them all off, and then it washes them all down here to these hoppers that are full. I'll replant it later. Or probably not at all. So if we go up this way, this right here is a man-made lake. There was just this big hole there and so I just made it into a lake. Over here we have my vastly incomplete village project. Uh, there used to be villagers, now there's not. The zombies got to them all and uh, I've never got more villagers for it. So uh, the idea was to just have this massive sprawling village that went, you know, you can see it going all the way over there and I wanted to fill the whole swamp with it so it was just this massive village. And I didn't even necessarily care if it had villagers or not, but at some point I put villagers in it. This is for breaking your ores down like redstone and whatnot, so you can fortune it and it gets collected. Automatic smelter, which is looks to be pretty well broken. Um, this brings stuff up from the mine down there. I might have shut it off actually. 
it'll bring stuff up and then it'll unload it here and send the cart back down. I do it all differently now. But that's Minecraft in general. This is one of the really early things, which is a train station, which appears to be broken. I don't know who's... There's all these tunnels over here and in little holes in my builds and it's really annoying. Yeah, there's no not even any carts left in here anymore. I don't know. Someone's been messing with stuff over here. This is just some random branch mine. Because the carts would be stacked up here and then they would get to dispense and they'd come up here well not really dispense but this was back before dispensers could place mine carts and so it'd come in here it'd stack up into that Pez dispenser and then one would always be sitting here that you could jump in and ride over and that goes over to Zafian's old place his original place uh, this and the next three things I show you are all incomplete this used to farm ice, but now it doesn't snow here anymore. This did the same, except on a much larger scale, but it doesn't snow here anymore. So this one is kind of halfway torn apart. Um, you guys have probably seen this design if you've watched any of the other Minecraft people. It uh, would push the ice out here, and then it'd push it up and form this huge block of ice. That took a long time to form. Which is how I made this building, which is incomplete. And this was my original attempt at a hopper sorter system for storing items. Which was abandoned relatively quickly because of ugliness. Uh, down here is actually something that I never really... Well, again, it's incomplete. Never really finished. It's a spider spawner. Spiders. It's a dual spider spawner. There's one there. And there's one over here. And then they come here. And they'll... They'll all collect down here. So the idea was to have this dual XP farm for spiders. But I kind of quit working on it. I don't remember why. I've never really liked working with spiders though, so that could be part of it. I'd rather make an XP farm out of skeletons or zombies. So what else? I mean, there's a lot of stuff over here. There's a slime farm and stuff down in the mines. Um, over here, there is a cave spider spawner. Or actually, I think it's a dual cave spider too. If I can find the entrance to it. Over here, with all the torches. There used to be a little building here, but I took it out to make room for the village that I never finished. I haven't been down here in a long time. So yeah, what we have here is this is a cave spider spawner. And this is a cave spider spawner. And this is a skeleton spawner. <laughs> And so you can, all of these will be active when you're, well, this one won't be. When you're down here, both of the cave spiders are active. And this is a whole complicated mess and I don't remember if I even got it all working. Um, so yeah, that was down here. Can hear a skeleton or two spawned. I think there was some other spawner down here that I was gonna do something with at one point. So 
So I think that's going to be the end of this episode. We've cleaned up the sand crawler, uh, gave a little tour over here. I think that's the bulk of the big things. I mean, there's Witch Mountain, but we covered that last time. And so next time, I think we're going to be over at the Needle. Um, there's still a couple things that I wanted to finish over there. I don't know if I will actually finish it or not. Um, I wanted to make a couple farms. And, but before I can really make the farms, I need to dig out a whole bunch and I don't really want to dig out much. Uh, plus that build's going to come with us. So I don't know if that's one that I want to spend time on. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.